Here we're going to see how SharpCloud can help you visualize your roadmap. Let's start by taking a look at our strategic landscape. Here I can see all the aspects of my roadmap, such as the goals we're working towards, the elements of energy production we're looking to improve, the technologies we're developing, the partners we're leveraging, or the risks that could impact our organization. I can also see how all these things are connected, which allows me to know exactly what I need to consider when making a strategic decision. Let's say we're looking to execute on increasing our solar investment. I can filter on this item to know what goals it will help us meet, exactly how much needs to be invested in the relevant technologies, and what partners will be involved. In this case, I can see Solar R&D Corporation has a connection to two of the technologies, integrated solar infrastructure and advanced grid connections, both of which are necessary in order to help us increase our solar investment. I can now take this information and jump to a different view that shows me a development timeline for my technologies and the relationships to relevant partners. Here, if I filter on Solar R&D Corporation, I can see that they have a connection to a number of the technologies that are currently being developed. I can also see that development for integrated solar infrastructure that we previously identified hasn't actually begun yet. So what I can do is drill down on this item to find out a little bit more information about it. Here I'm presented with a number of different panels that show me different types of information, such as a brief description, an embedded video, an infographic that a team member has put together, relationships to other items in my roadmap, or links to resources that the user can navigate to or download. I'm particularly interested in this panel that shows me some of the specific attributes for this item. Here I can see that integrated solar infrastructure has a technology readiness level of 3. It's in the proof of concept stage. Now let's look at how this item compares to the other technologies we have in the pipeline. In this view, I can see the maturity of all our technologies based on their technology readiness level, as well as their current status. If I focus in on integrated solar infrastructure, I can see that this is one of my most immature technologies. And if I drill down, I can see that development is actually behind schedule. Now I know that I need to have a discussion to see if there's some more resources that we can devote to this technology so that we're able to effectively execute on our strategy.